Well, hello everybody. I've been breaking out my equipment, preparing it for this season, and my primer bulb on this line trimmer finally gave up the ghost. This uh, Ryobi trimmer has been an outstanding trimmer. Now I say Ryobi, I think it's actually pronounced Ryobi, but it's Ryobi around here. I mean to tell you, I've probably had this thing, no kidding, 16 years. And the only thing I've ever done to it was replace the fuel lines on it once. I broke the handle or the trigger accidentally at one point in time, so I ordered one for a few bucks. Aside from that, I put fuel in it, feed it with line, and it's worked all these years. It's still running the original spark plug, if you can believe that. And it starts up on the third or fourth pull from a cold start, no problem. But, I've got to fix the primer bulb on it, so let's get underway. Well, alright, I've removed the shaft off of it just so I could get it up here on the bench. There's what we're working with. Clearly that's not going to work anymore. I'm really surprised it made it this far. But when I put the fuel lines on it several years ago, they were a little bit large, so I had to use cable ties. So I'll snip those off. And this is a one-piece primer bulb here. It's just got a couple clips on the back to get it out. Well, all right, I've got the primer bulb off now. I'm really only shooting this video because I want to tell a story, and I am going to try to install a new bulb in this, even though it's basically a sealed unit. But I went down to Ace Hardware, as much as I try to avoid that place because their pricing is somewhat crazy, in my opinion. They offered a kit of three bulbs, a small, a large, and another large, and would you believe they wanted $13 for these three pieces? I just simply do not have time to source one of these out online and wait for it. I need it running. So I was taken back by that price and sitting next to it was this kit right here, a fuel line replacement kit. And lo and behold, it was the same $13. It came with these two primer bulbs, a complete remote bulb, a coupler, a fuel line and filter, and a fuel line routing tool where you can take this up through the tank and route lines back in for the same money. I still don't really feel good about the price for what I paid for this, but at least I got the tool that I could have used for years instead of using long needle nose pliers and things of that nature. So. I guess this part right here, in my opinion, is kind of worth the price of admission. But this bulb right here, even though it's a large bulb and this is a small bulb, it will fit in there. So I'm going to go ahead and run with this. The only downside I see to it is you're going to prime it with more gasoline than with the small bulb, but I usually hit this three or four times anyway. So maybe I'm two times on this one. And... I have a small one here that I'm going to try and fix this with for future use. Well alright that bulb fit in there like it was meant to be there. Reconnected the fuel lines. Everything is looking good. It is early in the morning right now so I'm going to go outside and put some fuel in this, fire it up, make sure it runs and then we'll move on. Well, all right, guys, I took it outside in the dead dark of night and gassed it up. Hit the primer bulb two times, fired up on the second pull, and that was from an empty carburetor, no fuel in it whatsoever. It may only take one moving forward, but at least at this stage, it does work, and it works with that larger bulb. Well, alright guys, I went out there today and it does only take one pump of the primer bulb to get it running. No complaints there. I'm now going to move my attention to this one and see if we can fix it. This actually might benefit some folks, so we're going to give this a go and see how it works out. Now, I've already cracked this loose and I wanted to show how I did that. I took a small pair of channel locks, got a hold of it here, and just lightly squeezed on that until I heard it crack. And basically what I was doing was breaking the adhesive up inside of there crack 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 and then it just simply comes apart take out the old remaining part of the bulb and now we've got the new one here I've got a little bit of cleanup to do I don't know if you can see it but the old adhesive is in here 
and then you can see that little black line right there I will be getting in with a pick and cleaning that up the best I can path doing that we will insert the new bulb I will apply a small amount of super glue around here and put it back together using a couple of sockets of appropriate size like this and I'll clamp it off in one of these clamps and let it cure out. I don't have any concerns about the super glue getting degraded by the fuel because the seal is actually below where this sits. It's actually going to be glued down here so no fuel can get out of this into that area. Well alright guys here's the finished product it appears that it's going to work just fine. It's just an idea on what you can do in a pinch to maybe revitalize one of these bulb primers if you need to. This may work just fine forever, who knows? But in the event maybe later it goes south again, I might be able to crack it open just like I did in the last clip and put on a new bulb. It would be nice if they would make these serviceable, meaning between the black and the yellow here thread this area screw it off put in a new bulb screw it back on and there you go unfortunately these are more like printers these days the printer is in essence free but the ink is where they get you that's kinda of where the small parts on these things come into play that's where they really make their money so I hope this helps someone in some way thanks for watching guys and good luck